aimers, yeah, <laughs> that had just, uh, you know, uh, sold all our stuff, praise God, but y'all believed in us, amen, and y'all uh, supported us, and, and here we are on the eve of our first full, first full uh, a term as appointed missionaries in Spain, praise God, so we love you very much, praise God, we love your pastor and pastor's wife, not just because they're their family, but uh, we just love them dearly. We love Sister Lena, her her passion for the for the things of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Her passion for the truth. Amen. And uh, the, your pastor who baptized me. Praise God. And uh, <laughs> Amen. And you know, you you get into ministry. It's uh, just being a little transparent. Sometimes it's it's hard to make friends. He's not only just my my brother-in-law, but he's my friend. Brother Lee, the Lee family, they're my friends. Amen. They're, y'all are family and friends. And uh, I, we treasure those relationships very much. Amen. I'd like to ask my wife to come just to greet you. And I, I, I don't want to, we could tell you all about Spain, but we just want to say hi. <laughs> Amen. We just want to be amongst family. And I'm so grateful to have this lovely, godly woman by my side. Amen. <laughs> She's beautiful inside and out. Amen. It's my wife, Kirsten. Amen. Gloria a Dios. Amen. Gloria a Dios. Gloria a Dios. Praise the Lord. The river's flowing in here. The river of the Spirit is in this room. If you haven't jumped in yet, come on. Because in the river... There's no telling what you're going to receive, but it's going to be greater than what you think because he is far above what we can ask or think. And he supplies needs. He supplies wants, but he satisfies the soul. Is there a hungry soul in the house today? He will satisfy like nothing in this world can satisfy. You don't have to leave the same way that you come. You don't have to leave unfulfilled. You don't have to leave with one bit of hunger left. He will satisfy. Just jump in that river. Just lift your arms to the Lord. Just lift your hands to the Lord. Get in the river of the Lord right now. Oh, Jesus is here for you. He's going to do a great thing. Say, I want more, Lord. I want more, Lord. There's more for me. I want it. I don't want to hold back from you. But I want what you have for me, and I want more. Oh, Jesus is going to do a great thing in this house. I just know it. Hallelujah. Well, we went to Spain. um, I guess it was... 2020 or 2021, I don't know, 2020. We went to Spain in 2020. Um, The work, I I know I've told you these things. I do want to say a few things about Spain because it's going to tie in with your your 21 days of prayer and fasting. Um, Now there are over 100 churches in Spain. The work doubled in five years from 2015 to 2020. And um, we have over... 180 licensed ministers. This is from last year. So we have over that. We have over 100 churches. We have um, in Barcelona alone, there are 49 life groups. Wow. We have 300 people attending those small groups, those life groups. We call them cell groups. They're Bible study groups all over the city that spring up. And people, God is using those small groups to start churches. In fact, during COVID, a church sprung out of one of those life groups. These, these guys over this life group were, my word, they had some fire in their bellies to tell people about Jesus. And they started reaching out into this community with, with, with passion and with a hunger for the lost. And that small group started at 20, just a small Bible study in a home. It grew, 14, next time, 20. Time goes by. In six months, they have like 60 people. They had to start doing uh, Saturday church. They were in a facility. It filled up to 80. Last year, the end of last year, sometime in the summer last year, they started. They installed a pastor. They have like 150 members now. Can God not do it? Won't he do it here too? Won't he do it? Oh, yeah. (laughs) 
We're his hands and feet. See, he wants to do lots of things. But it's not up to just pastor and leadership. We are all the body. We're all members. We're all the hands and feet and mouthpieces of Jesus Christ. If we just get a fire in our belly to, hey, I'm going to win some souls. I've got to save the lost. God can use you to be that next small group leader that raises up a new church in your own neighborhood. Well, we have, we have 12 daughter works or 13 daughter works now out of Barcelona. We have eight daughter works out of Madrid that have started in the last eight, five years. But I think they have over, they have over, you know, I really don't know how many works. Madrid has a lot, over 13. And then in every single province, every major city in Spain, there is a church now. And they're starting Bible, they're starting daughter works. We have three Bible schools. And this year, or this last year, um, we started satellite programs where you can where you can watch on Zoom the Bible school. So we're trying to open that up to all churches so that everybody will be able to attend Bible school and we can send out ministers like amazing. A hundred churches sounds phenomenal, but there are 47, almost 50 million people in Spain. That 100 to 50 million is 500,000 people per one church. Not enough, is it? Our work is still, we have a lot of work to do yet. But we're excited um, that after 21 days of prayer and fasting last year, um, we taught a prayer walking seminar that led, that, and led the Barcelona Church in seven consecutive days of prayer walking around the city in every neighborhood. Since then, there's been great liberty in the services. And when it started locking again, down again, and the spirit of the Lord started uh, being more comfortable, people were started getting cold again, we did another prayer walk. We pushed more fasting. And the Holy Ghost in feelings and miracles increased in a dynamic way. A month later, we conducted a national prayer walk. And um, now God is doing a miraculous thing. We're having this year something that we have had a vision for for a long time. It's been in all of the missionaries' hearts is to, to rent out a stadium in Spain to hold a conference at, at a huge level. We're renting it in December. We're having, we've rented the facility. We're having a national convention that is going to fill up a stadium, a football stadium, a soccer stadium in Spain. Would you pray that he will, he will put his angels all over the four winds that people would be drawn to his spirit and they will come fill that stadium and be filled with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. We exalt you, Lord, for what you're doing, and it's just exciting to be here today on the, on the end of your 21 days of prayer and fasting. It's been spoken all day today. Something powerful happens. It's not because we get bigger by fasting. We get more. It's, it's, it's less of me and more of you, Lord. He's always great, but in our eyes, we kind of get big sometimes. It gets all about us sometimes. Fasting makes it about him. It changes our perspective. Oh, and he loves it when we make him big. When we see him for who he is. He's a mighty God. He's a victorious God. He's a miraculous God. He's a providing God. He's a faithful God. He's the one who supplies all our needs. He is the God who does provide and he will be your banner. He will be whatever you need. He's all in all. He's the great I am. He's here for us. And because we have put ourselves lower through that fasting, he's going to do something phenomenal. Because he wants to show out if we give him room. Are you ready? I'm ready. Who needs a miracle in this house? Who doesn't matter? It doesn't have to be a healing. Who needs something from the Lord today? Are you hungry for him? He will supply. He is here for you. Hallelujah. Preach the word, brother. Praise the Lord. Oh, I'm excited for what God is going to do this morning. Hallelujah. Or this afternoon. Praise God. If you have your Bibles, 
Why don't we all stand? John 1, verse 12. John 1, verse 12. Praise God. I believe the Lord wants to reveal some things to us today. Amen. I feel a revelatory spirit in the house. I feel there that just what's been said that the Lord wants to reveal some things to us this morning. Amen. Praise the Lord. John 1 and 12. John 1 and 12. The Bible says this. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. Hallelujah. Just go ahead and put your Bibles down. Let's enter again into the presence of the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Go ahead and lift your voice. Oh, Jesus, I'm asking you to anoint our minds this morning, oh God. Oh, that you would reveal to us, oh God. What is your perfect will this morning, oh God? Show us, Lord, oh, who we are in your eyes, oh God. I pray, Lord Jesus, oh, that you would show us, oh God, oh, your will for this church, oh God. Hallelujah. I pray you would anoint my words this morning, oh God. Let them be quick and powerful. Let the ears, oh God. Let the soil be good that this word falls on. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Why don't you clap your hands unto the Lord? Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. It's my great honor to preach no more crumbs. No more crumbs. You may be seated. There were many people that came to the Lord Jesus that needed a miracle. They came to him in desperation. They went to various lengths to get to the Lord Jesus. If they could just get close to Jesus, that God who was robed in flesh and walked among us, they went to lengths that some even lowered themselves through the ceiling. Because they knew if they could get to God, <laughs> they could receive a miracle and received miracles they did. That man that was lowered from the ceiling, he was paralyzed, but he was walking again. And those old lepers that came to him, they were cleansed. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If you could get close to God, you can receive anything that you need. If you can get close to the Lord Jesus, there is nothing that is impossible. If you can get close to God, there is no situation too difficult for our Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. But there was a woman who came. Amen. A woman who came in Matthew 15, verse 22. A woman of Canaan came, hallelujah, a woman who came out of the same coast and cried unto him, saying, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me, Lord, thou son of David. My, my daughter is vexed with a devil. She came needing a miracle, praise God. She came needing a miracle. She came in desperation. Praise the Lord. She came in desperation, but she was a, a woman from Canaan. She was of a different class of people. She was of a different class. She knew it, and her disciples knew it also, and even the Lord Jesus knew it. Praise God. Hallelujah. There in 15, praise God, chapter 22, hallelujah. But he, he said, and he answered not a word. And his disciples came and besought him, saying, send her away. Hallelujah. And what did Jesus say? He didn't disagree with his disciples. He didn't disagree. Verse 24, <laughs> but he answered, said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Praise God. 
Then she came and worshiped him, saying, Lord, help me. But he answered and said, it is not meat to take the children's bread. The children's bread. Hallelujah. And cast it to the dogs. In a roundabout way, she called this woman a dog. If there was any doubt in anyone's minds, it was known in her mind that she was not worthy of the children's bread. It was known in the minds of the disciples. They said, send her away. It was known in the mind of Jesus. And he straightly said, it's not, you're, you're asking for a miracle, but that is, that is the children's bread that you're asking for. Oh, hallelujah. That's the children's bread you're asking for. But oh, her faith, she pressed on. She said, oh, even the dogs get the crumbs. Even the dogs get the crumbs. Oh, hallelujah. She said, she said, truth, Lord. I'm not worthy of that bread. I'm not worthy of that bread. I'm, I'm asking for, I'm asking for something that is of the bread of the children. Oh, but, but even the dogs. <laughs> I know it. Your disciples know it. You know it, but. Even the dogs get the crumbs. Hallelujah. And he said, great is thy faith. Great is thy faith. Hallelujah. Great is thy faith. Be it un unto thee, even as thou wilt. And her daughter was made whole from that very hour. Hallelujah. There, but that was a class of woman, a class of people that was not supposed to have access to the children's bread. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. Hear me. There is a class of people that have the privilege of the bread. Not just the crumbs, but the loaf. Not just putting the bread out on the table and and pouring out the crumbs and licking them on your finger or something. There is a class of people that have access to the bread. The children have access to the bread. Oh, hallelujah. And we can see in, in the story of the prodigal child. Or maybe it's better put that, oh, the, the, <laughs> the man with two sons. He had a son. He was... Oh, he went out and he went in with riotous living. He was there. He didn't he wanted he didn't want to be a part of the family. He didn't want he didn't want that privilege of being a son. He said, "Just give me what I'm entitled to and and cut me loose." And and cut him loose that old father did. He said, "Here's your portion. Go and do. Go and go out and do as you see fit." And he went out. You know, when you go out from protection, from anointing, it'll take you to a place that, that, that you didn't expect to go. Oh, and in that Hebrew tradition, that, in that Israelite tradition, he found himself in a, in a place that, that is low and a base. It wasn't a, he wasn't just eating from, from begging bread or whatever. He was eating with the swine. He found himself in a place eating with the unclean swine. Oh, hallelujah. But the Bible says he came to himself. Oh, hallelujah. I pray that the Lord is going to touch some prodigals. And they're going to come to themselves. Oh, they're going to come to themselves. They may be eaten out of a trough or or on their way to eating a, eating out of a trough, but God is going to quicken their minds, and, and they're going to come to themselves. Hallelujah. And in that, he came to himself, and he 
when he came to himself, he said, oh, the servants do much better than I'm doing right now. Oh, the servants. Even the servants do better than I'm doing in my father's house. He said, oh, I'm not worthy anymore to be called a son. I've taken all that that I was entitled to by, by being a son. I, I don't deserve that anymore. I have wasted it on riotous living. And in his mind, when he came to himself, in his logical mind, he was not worthy to be called a son. He said, oh, I'll, I want to I wanna come back. I, I'm not worthy to be called son. Oh, but I could, if I could just be a lower class and just have the access of a servant. Oh, then my ma could get my life back together. But, oh, what did that father do when he came back? What did that father do to his son when he came back? Hallelujah. He said, bring forth the best robe. The best robe. <laughs> Hallelujah. A robe that a servant is not worthy to wear. A robe that shows the sign of the, the, the family, all of the access, all of the privilege of the family. He said, oh, my son has come back. Grab the family garments and wrap them around him again. Oh, and what else did he put on him? He put... A ring on his hand. Oh, friends, what does that mean? Just like Pharaoh with Joseph, he put the ring on Joseph's finger saying that, oh, he can put that signet stamp on anything that's that's under the power of Pharaoh, that that old Joseph can put his all the authority that Pharaoh had was given to Joseph and in the same manner, he came back to be a servant, but, but, but a ring was put on his finger. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. He put shoes on his feet. Amen. He said, bring forth he to the fatted calf and kill it. Let us eat and be merry. Hallelujah. He came back to be a servant. He came back, and in his mind, he was not worthy of anything else but to be a servant. But he came back to the Father as a son. Oh, hallelujah. He came back to be at a, he thought he had got a, a demotion. Amen. But the Father said, no, you're my son. I'm going to put my robe on your back I'm gonna put that ring on your finger I'm gonna take the fatted calf that I've been feeding for a couple seasons and we're gonna slay that fatted calf hallelujah hallelujah praise the Lord and oh the other son he said he said answering lo these many years do I serve thee these many years do I serve thee Neither transgressed I at any time thy commandment, and yet thou never gavest me a kid that I might make merry with my friends. But as soon as this son was come, which hath devoured the, thy living with harlots, thou hast killed for him the fatted calf. And he said unto him, What? Praise God. Both the sons relegated themselves to servants. To a lower class in the household. They both, he came, the one he went far away, he thought in his mind he didn't deserve to be a son. He said, if I could just get to a lower class in my household, I'll be all right. And the one who stayed, he said, I all these days I served you, but you never did anything for me. I followed all your commandments. I served you. But what was his reply? The first word that came out of his word was son. Oh, son. He said, you have 
relegated yourself to a, a, a servant, a, a hired hand. But, oh, son, oh, thou art ever with me, and all that I have is thine. All that I have is thine. Praise God. Oh, in the Bible, those old disciples, that rough old bunch of disciples, they were there and, you know, they were with the Lord Jesus. And, you know, the, the Lord Jesus gave him authority, hallelujah, over unclean spirits to cast them out and over every sickness and every disease, Matthew 10 and 1. And they went out and they went out with the authority that was given to them. Praise God. They went out and they saw demons cast out of people. They, they saw miracles and it started getting to their heads. And, and, and they, said, uh, they said, oh, praise God. They said, oh, Jesus, the, the, oh, even the, the, the devils listen to us. He said, rejoice not that the devils obey your words but that your names are written in the book of life. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. They had power and they had authority. Amen. They knew their position with God. Praise the Lord. And when they got to talking, it wasn't, there was a certain crowd that he was talking to. Who asked the question, Who, who's the greatest? Who's the greatest in the kingdom? He was talking to the disciples and he replied, Matthew 23, 11 through 12. But he that is greatest among you shall be your servant. And whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased. And he that shall humble himself shall be exalted. Amen. He wasn't talking to just any folks when he gave that reply. He was talking to Ones who he gave authority to. Hallelujah. He was talking to his inner circle. Amen. He said the greatest among you. His, his group who was jockeying for position. Uh, the greatest among you, not the masses. He was talking to the 12. He, was ta he said the greatest among you will be your servants. Hallelujah. Praise God. He was talking to those, those ones that were sitting at the table. Amen. That were, that when that woman come that said, hey, she's not worthy of bread. He was talking to the ones that knew they, that who, to whom the bread pertained. Hallelujah. He said, the greatest among those is your servant. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hear me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are the children of God. Amen. God came to this world. What? He came to this world with authority. Amen. He came to this world with authority. Philippians 2, 6 through 11. Who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be made equal with God, but made himself of no reputation. And took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men. Praise God. What is going on here? Hallelujah. He didn't, when he came down to this world, he didn't hand heaven his resignation letter. He knew who he was. He knew who he was. He didn't ask for a demotion, hallelujah, but when you know who you are and you will humble yourself, that is where the power is, friends. When you will humble yourself, but you got to know who you are. The devil wants to whisper in your ear that you're, you're not worthy to be called a son. You're not worthy to be called a son. Just go ahead and take yourself down a notch. How dare you even have God even, even called you son? He said, oh, the, the greatest among you is a servant. You need to be relegated to a lower class. But, oh, friends, 
He has called us to be his sons and his daughters. He has called us to know who we are. Hallelujah. He called us to know that, oh, that, that the blood that was shed on Calvary for you and me, it flows through our veins. We are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, he stood on the throne, yet he humbled himself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I think sometimes we can humble ourselves, but do we know our position at the throne? Do we know who we are at the throne? Oh, sometimes it feels good to say, I just got to humble myself. I just got to relegate myself to a, a lower position because, oh, I'm not worthy of the blessings of God. I'm not worthy of the of the bread if i it just feels a little better sometimes to be relegated to the crumbs oh hallelujah but oh friends i don't want to be relegated to the crumbs when the father wants me to make peanut butter and jelly with the bread i don't want to re be relegated to the crumbs Oh, when the Father wants me to dip the bread of the miraculous in the Holy Ghost of his oil and eat of it freely. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, oh hallelujah. I don't want to rip off the, the paper on the panettone when, when he's asking me to rip it off and eat freely. Oh, friends, our Father who art in heaven, the heaven is his throne and the earth is his footstool. Praise God. You know, I want to be called amongst the people who turn this world upside down. Hallelujah. I'll tell you what my kids will do with a footstool. They'll turn it into a fort. Amen. And peradventure it hath wheels. <laughs> they will start surfing on the footstool. Yeah. Hear me. It's kind of funny, but hear me. The world is God's footstool. <laughs> peradventure of this world has wheels. Oh, and we have a childlike faith that says, I'm just going to, I'm going to be an airplane on my father's footstool. Oh, hallelujah. When you call Molly maids and they start doing things, make it a, no, 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 no. Oh, friends. Hallelujah. Oh, friends. He has called us out of this world. Power comes when all the authority from on high humbles itself. Oh, hallelujah. You can't have the authority if you, if you won't humble yourself. But if you don't take the authority that you have from the throne, it doesn't matter if you're humble. Oh, that might be hard to hear, but oh, friends... If you, if you don't have the royalty, there's no power. If you don't have your, a royal father, that's where the power comes from. Yes. That's where the power comes from. Oh, and there may be some crumbs. You can beg the Lord for crumbs, but I just feel a... A peanut butter and jelly sandwich spirit coming over me. Oh, I feel a, a surfing out a footstool anointing coming over this church. There's no more crumbs anymore. Oh, there's no more crumbs anymore. All that you have is all that the Father has for you. It's 
yours. Oh, it's yours. Oh, hallelujah. Let's all stand to our feet. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, I never want the blessings of God to go to my head. Amen. I'm going to read this scripture. You just give me a minute. <laughs> I'm going to read this scripture. Philippians 2, 6 through 11. And who, being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, and took upon them a form of a servant, and was made in the likeness of men, and being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore God also hath highly exalted him, and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee shall bow of the things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth. And that every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Hallelujah. When you know who you are. When you know who your Father is. Hallelujah. When you know who your, who your daddy is. When you know the robe that he has for you and the ring of authority he wants to put on your finger. You know, you can humble yourself, but you, he, the robe is there, but you got to put it on. You got to put it on. Oh, it, it doesn't feel. It, you, you feel like you're unworthy. Well, well, guess what? You're not worthy. You're not worthy. I'm not worthy. Oh, friends. But God has paid the price. He has made us worthy. Hallelujah. I feel the anointing of God. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. He gave you the power. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I feel like the Lord once I feel like his royal garments are here and he's asking you to put them on. You guys know you are a humble people. You are, you are a lowly, meek, godly people. But God wants to put humility with power. Right. Hallelujah. He... Uh, the humility, it feels a little better to eat the crumbs, but I'm feeling a, a sliced bread anointing of the miraculous coming. Oh, I'm feeling a, a sliced bread wonder, brother. Get you some PB&J and, uh, and put it on your bread and make you, get you a glass of milk because, oh, friends, he has made us worthy. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, let's all gather together at this front. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. If you've been born again of the water and the spirit, you're a, you're a son of God. All the authority that he has for you, it's yours. You're not relegated to the crumbs. Oh, hallelujah. You can take of the bread of life freely. Oh, hallelujah. There's a different class of person. Oh, you go, friends. You go from, oh, being called, from eating with the pigs to being a child of God. 
Oh, you join a royal priesthood. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, you can partake of things that are only given to the children. The breads. Oh, we can get a miracle from the crumbs, but I want a miracle from the loaf. Oh, 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 oh hallelujah. I want the loaf. Oh, if he's called me to the loaf, I want to I want to take and eat of it. Oh, if he wants to, if he's called me to the panettone, I want to rip a piece off and eat freely. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Let's all lift our hands together. Oh, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I feel like the Lord wants to anoint this church. I have felt liberty in my spirit but I feel something trying to press you down I feel like we're gonna like like sister sister Lena prophesied I feel like we need to shout and call those walls to go flat oh hallelujah hallelujah let's all lift our hands together hallelujah Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We're going to all repent together. Amen. We're just going to have an old good old fashioned Holy Ghost and suddenly. Hallelujah. We're going to all pray together. I'm going to I'm going to say some words of faith. When you hear me yell hallelujah, walls are going to come crashing down. When you hear me yell hallelujah with all of your strength. With every ounce of strength that you have. Oh, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. We come to you as your sons and your daughters, oh God. We are not worthy of all that you have for us, oh God. Oh, we've come short, oh God. Oh, Jesus, we feel only worthy to be called your servant, oh God. Oh, we humble ourselves before your throne, oh God. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, but I know you've called this church to, oh, things so much greater, oh God. You've called us, oh God. Oh, oh Jesus. Oh, to greater revival, oh God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I feel some walls are... I feel some cracks and some walls right now by the power that's in the name of Jesus, by the authority of the Word of God, by the Holy Spirit that's in this place. Receive your fresh anointing right now. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, Right now. Oh, oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, 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 receive that anointing right now. Oh, receive that calling right now. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, na 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 na. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, that's it. Uh, oh, friends, let's. We need to press on in this a little bit. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Go ahead and lift your voice. Say. I'm a child of the king. Oh, oh, the king is my daddy. Oh, this, I am not, I am called to be the head and not the tail. This world, this city that I'm called to reach is my daddy's footstool. It's my daddy's footstool. Oh, hallelujah. 
Go ahead and make a footstool. Go ahead and make a fort out of your daddy's footstool. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, there are miracles in the house right now. We're not relegated to the crumbs anymore. We're not relegated to begging for the crumbs. Oh, we have access to the bread. Oh, we have access to the bread. Oh, hallelujah. We have access to the authority. Oh, hallelujah. To cast out unclean spirits. Demons tremble at the name of Jesus. Oh, demons tremble at the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. With that family robe on and that ring on our finger, hallelujah. We have authority over all sickness and all disease. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> oh, what a privilege to be called a child of God. Oh, if you want to be called a child of God, oh, you must be born of the water and of the Spirit. Oh, you got to be born into the kingdom. Oh, hallelujah. You got to be born in water. Hallelujah. Calling on that, that name of Jesus. Oh, calling on that name of Jesus. Calling on the name of the king who's sitting on the throne. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, and we get to lift our voice and, oh, with an unknown tongue crying out, I'm a father. That's my daddy. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Are there any needs in the house? Hallelujah. Does anyone need to be filled with the Holy Ghost? Hallelujah. Oh, miracles. Oh, we can partake of the miraculous here. Hallelujah. We're not relegated to the crumbs anymore. Oh, no more crumbs. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. I'm a child of the king. Doesn't feel right to say that. It feels a little uncomfortable, but I'm a child of God. Oh, I'm a child of God. Oh, I'm my daddy's friend. I'm a friend of God. Oh, what a relationship we can have to oh, be our daddy's friend. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, Oh, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I declare fresh anointing in the house. Hallelujah. Oh, in the name of Jesus, fresh anointing is falling on this church right now. Oh, at the, at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. Oh, hallelujah. When the King of Kings, oh, when he never stops being king, but he humbles himself. Oh, that's when every knee bows. That's when every tongue confesses. Oh, that Jesus is Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Are there any needs in the house? Can we have a need? Praise God. I'd love to pray for you. Praise the Lord. Are there any needs? Oh, friends. Hallelujah. Our God wants to call a son and daughter. Oh, he wants to call a son and daughter. Oh, and he's not a dysfunctional daddy. He's a, he's a perfect father. He is a loving father. 
Oh, he's a father who wants to provide all of your needs according to his riches and glory. Oh, he wants to heal your body. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, may God richly bless you in Jesus' name. of words. 